There is no change of pace. There is no work from the, the front line where when somebody has the ball in his foot, or in his feet, sorry, the other one has the ball in the space behind the defense. It's the same runs, same boring and slow motion runs. Nothing happens. So they keep the ball, they keep the ball, they keep the ball, they keep the ball until they have a chance to score. But it's not football. It doesn't work like that. It's like I only see my former club playing like that. I don't see much about, uh, about the game. I don't see something happening. I don't see vertical game. I see horizontal around, you play handball. That's the only thing you do. So of course not, you don't deserve to win that game. You did win, perfect, for, for the, for the scoreline and for the rank. But otherwise, you know, for the future, I'm very concerned. What's wrong with them, Don? Frank's nailed it. Um, I mean, he played two false nines today. He played Raheem Sterling and Christian Pulisic as two false nines. And whenever Chelsea got the ball wide, I mean, Rhys James is a brilliant player. And every time they went forward, I thought their dangerous situations were, were going to come from Kukurea down the left-hand side, Rhys James down the right. And once they worked good balls into wide areas, you could see... You could see Kukurea thinking, I'm not going to put it in the box because Tilo Kera is just going to eat any crosses that I put in. Same on the other side with Rhys James. He's thinking, well, I can't put any crosses in the box now. That's a waste of time because the defender's there. They're, they're too big. Kurt Zuma, another one. So in the end, Frank's right. What they end up doing, Dan, is they end up coming back, playing boring football, sideways football. And my problem with Thomas Tuchel at the moment is it worries me that he couldn't get a tune out of a £100 million striker in Romelu Lukaku, yet he ships him back to Inter on loan. Then he goes for Aubameyang, just thinking the name and Aubameyang's going to solve all the problems. If Chelsea keep playing slow, predictable football, Aubameyang is going to be in exactly the same scenario that Lukaku was. He ain't getting going to get any chances neither. So it was only when he made changes and he put Breuer on, who was more physical, and then Kai Havertz, more physical, they started putting crosses in the box, overloading West Ham. West Ham couldn't cope with the pressure, and that's how they got their win. But before the two substitutes were made, my word, Dan, they were so predictable and slow and pedestrian. Pedestrian's the word, isn't it? Yeah, he just, he just picked the wrong team. He picked the wrong team. Don't say that there. <clears throat> when, you're, when you're two front men, a Sterling and Pulisic, who don't like being centre-forwards, and you're... Your two, particularly one of them, and Reese James is your weapon whipping balls in, but you don't play anybody who even looks like a centre forward. Why don't you play Brozier? Because you've struggled so far this season and it's staring you in the face that you need somebody up front. Play Brozier. You're just giving him a new contract. Right. Play him. Get him some time on the field. Then you can start using the quality you have with Cucurella on one side and James on the other. He just... He just got his starting lineup absolutely wrong. No, Dan, he made up for it. Dan, if I can ask, the substitutions completely changed the game. Yeah, and they got away with it. Uh, Frank. Yeah, sorry. If I can add something, you know what we love the Premier League because we need, we love the rhythm of the Premier League. Mm. We live, we love according to Don the the crazy contact of it as well. But we love the craziness <laughs> of it. We're going to talk about Everton Liverpool. I enjoyed that game, yeah. and we're going to talk it after. But. What we love is the reason, the craziness, that sometimes, you know, the curator, the player they have to take on another player, to believe that they can do something impossible. It's why we love that game. It's why we love the Premier League, because everything is possible and you can try. But if you don't try, well, you become predictable and you do nothing and you achieve nothing. That's what I see right now. Players not trying. Therefore, nothing happening. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.